The Weekend in Jacksonville with Dan Hicken is presented by Millennium Physician Group, your connection to a healthier life. Jacksonville, what's going on? Dan Hicken here, the media mogul, ready to give you all things Jacksonville sports coming up this weekend. Oh, we got football. Jags are back in town. Jags are back in town. Preseason football. Okay, nothing to get too excited about, but it's NFL football. Fans can go. It's it's open and it's going to be fun. And it's Saturday night, so it's not in the sunshine. So a lot of good things going as the Jaguars take on the Cleveland Browns. Uh, some of the things that we should all be looking for. First off, Urban Meyer won't commit to Trevor Lawrence. Come on, Herbs. What are we doing here? Let's go ahead and name Trevor Lawrence a starter for Houston. I don't care if he doesn't start against Cleveland in the preseason. but And I'm glad Gardner Minshew's having a great camp. That's fine. But if, if Gardner Minshew and Trevor Lawrence of, are of equal ability, then we are in trouble. Okay, and I don't believe that, and I know you don't believe that. So, message from Dan to Herbs, go ahead and get Trevor Lawrence out there and get him out there soon, okay? Now, there's some things to look for. Let's look at the other rookies, man. I want to watch Travis Etienne, maybe. I want to see how he does. What about the cornerback from Georgia, Tyson Campbell? How's he going to play? Where are we with C.J. Henderson? Is he going to dress for this game? So, there are a lot of questions, a new-look defense. I like to see how that looks against another team. Again, Cleveland's not going to play their stars. Jacksonville will will get some of their guys in. But we're a 1-15 football team. We're not in the same boat as Cleveland. Cleveland's a Super Bowl contender. They can get away with not playing anybody. We got to get ready. We got to hit. We got to do some things. And hopefully the Jaguars will do that on Saturday night. So it should be fun. Hope to see you guys down at the bank. Let's talk some college football. Well, let's talk a couple things. First, recruiting. And there is a wide receiver out of Texas. His name is Evan Stewart. Really good at Friday Night Lights in Gainesville. Florida's hard after Evan Stewart, uh, uh, one of the nation's top pass catchers. And Billy Gonzalez is trying to lure him in. We'll see if that happens. But that's a name to keep an eye out on for Florida. That would really help the uh, 2022 class. We've talked about recruiting with Florida and and Dan Mullen. And ultimately, I think they'll end up in the 7, 8, 9, 10 range. And, you know, maybe they need to be a little bit better. but, But we shall see. FSU in Jacksonville practicing on Thursday and Friday and uh, getting in some work in a different part of the state. And that's one of the things that Mike Norvell does is he continues to make contacts and uh, with with all different kinds of high school coaches and high school players in this state. It's kind of what FSU's trying to do. And listen, he's making inroads. He's getting better players. So I've told you all along, I, I like what Norvell's doing with recruiting. And I think that's big news. And of course, this week we suffered the passing of the legend, Bobby Bowden. And nobody better, right? Great coach, greater man. However you want to describe Bobby Bowden. Uh, I think the best thing that I could say about him, and I've said numerous times, is when Bobby Bowden gets to heaven, and he knows he's going to heaven, uh, he will hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. And there's no doubt about that. That was a guy who uh, lived his life and was at peace over the last few weeks and certainly thoughts and prayers to the Bowden family. All right, one more thing. I want to locally talk about Garrett Scantling, Episcopal High School, track at the University of Georgia, U.S. Olympic decathlete, came in fourth place, chopped off 10 seconds off the 1500, did his best to get on that medal table and ended up just short of a bronze But don't feel bad for Garrett Scantling. Garrett Scantling is well on his way, and he will be a heavy uh, uh, competitor in Paris in 20, what are we at, three years, 2024 uh, in Paris for an Olympic gold. Uh, We'll be tracking Garrett Scantling over the next few years. Uh, What a great story. What a great young man. And by the way, we feature him in our Hometown Heroes podcast uh, that you can listen to, brought to you by Locked at Law. Know before you blow. That's all we got today, ladies and gentlemen. Check out the local uh, matchups. Enjoy the weekend. Sit back and uh, kick it back in Jacksonville, FLA. We'll see you next time on Jacksonville's Weekend in Sports.